So today we're going to go over how to do an automatic NIST background subtract. So I'm going to open this coalition1.acq file over here. Get rid of my RIC plots over here. Um, the first thing I always like to do when I'm opening up a data file is I'll put my scan selector somewhere, just anywhere so that NIST can reference it, and then hit this search NIST slash user. So this is activating the NIST library uh, in relation to where my scan selector is placed. Uh, so since I'm trying to do the automatic background subtract, I know I have an instance of Coalition here at about three minutes. So I'm going to zoom in on about three minutes. It's this peak. Um, a really obvious sign of Coalition is if you're looking at a peak and it doesn't have a really straight trajectory, straight up, straight down. You can see this one goes up really quickly, and then when it's going back down, it has a little hump over here. That's indicative of Coalition in a lot of cases. So I'm going to walk the peaks from left to right. So I've selected an area on the far left of that peak, and I'm going to go scan to scan left to right. What I'm looking at while I'm doing this is how my mass fragments here on my scan um, compare to the NIST mass fragments up here. So I'm walking left to right. I have a primary amount, or a main, my main ions are like 119. As I'm walking over, I can see that 96 pop up at about scan 163. As I continue to go over, that 96 becomes the dominant ion, and my 119 fragment goes much lower. So this is telling me I have two different chemicals colluding here. If I want to visualize this, I can use the rig plots, but let's say I already see I can have those two chemicals. I have carbon tet and then whatever this 96 accounts for. To do my automated NIST background subtract, I'll right click my scan down here. I'll select NIST and then grab spectrum from NIST. You always want to make sure you highlight this square, switch to NIST button, and then hit OK. This is going to import my scan 165 into the NIST software. It always takes a few seconds so we can uh, sit awkwardly. Now that we've finished with our awkward silence, what I'm looking at here is this quadrant over here. It's basically telling me, if I'm looking at this, in red I have my scan 165, that's what I imported, and I'm making an identification for carbon tetrachloride over here in blue. If I want to, say, look at that same scan, so still looking at 165, but ignoring carbon tetrachloride, so what else is there, is essentially what I'm asking the software. Make sure you have subtraction highlighted here, and then just right click anywhere within the quadrant, and go to library search. Now you can see it's that same thing. It's saying I have a subtraction for scan 165, ignoring carbon tetrachloride, and it results in fluorobenzene in blue over here. If I want to pull out my um, NIST SI, my similarity is 817 over here with the match in the upper left hand corner. And that's how you do an automated NIST background subtract.